Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Um, today I'll be continuing the series for Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. And um, I'll be uh, working on the web browser that we made in the last video before this. So if you haven't watched it, please watch that now. And again, today I'll be having the special guest, Big Sweaty Rick. Hey guys, it's Big Sweaty Rick. And he'll be asking questions uh, along the way if he doesn't get something. So hopefully that can clear up other questions I might receive. Okay, so you should have Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express installed already, and if you don't, please watch my video about that. And so if you do, just start it up. Minimizes, and you should have your web browser from the last video we made. I had to remade this because I did not save it during the video, so that's why it might look a little different from yours, but it's all all the same coding. So just double click on it in recent projects, or you can open it up and. This, this project button. And when you click on it, you'll notice it doesn't do anything. That's because you actually have to click on the form1.vb and then I'll take you to what this says. <laughs> then right click on this and say view code so we have your code up. This should be all the code you have except for this thing. I forgot to delete. Okay. So now this is what you have so far. And today I'm going to show you how you can search something up on Google and how you can um, uh, make a new window for this. So first let's lower this a little bit so that way we have room for uh, some buttons and text box. Okay, so let's get a new button. Put it right here. And let's just say new window. Might not fit. Yeah, it doesn't. Resize it until it does fit. Alright, so now you have the new window button. Double click on it to bring up the uh, automatically generated uh, code for it. And then the code is going to be kind of weird. I'll be showing you the concept called, concept called DIM. D I M. And uh, what DIM is is how you can declare a class like a web browser or text box without uh, actually having to. Uh, right, put it on your form. So we're gonna dim. Uh, let's just say new win. That's what the new tile is gonna be called. Like how we renamed our web browser to WB as new. And then since form one was already uh, form one is what our main form was called. We first did that. So just type in form as new form one. So that should be all the code has to be. So when you click on this button, it'll uh, say that new win is what form one is, but it won't do anything. This is kind of confusing, I don't know, but this won't do anything when it says new win as form one. And then you have to do new win, see how it already has like its own class and everything, dot show. What does that do? Uh, this makes it so a new win will actually show up when you click on the button. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Let's test this out. Alright, so, so here's the web browser we have so far. Yeah, I know, my mouse is kind of weird. Save new window, and there's your new window. Uh, again, another new window. So all you have to do is put that new win code in, and then you get a new window. It can be anything you want. You can like put a la 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 or something. It's <laughs> just that's what you just have to have that for the rest of your code. I'll show you something else with the dim function. Uh, form one. So how we said new win dot show. I also showed you in Hello World how you can change the my Hello World video how you can change text from the code, like the caption or whatever. So now I'll just type in new win dot text is equal to let's say new window. So now what this is telling it is that the new wins caption wherever is new window instead of web browser. So let's test this. You can look at the caption and you'll see so as my computer speeds up a little bit, it says web browser, new window. 
and the new window says new window. Yeah, that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your own Google searcher. This one's kind of weird, but uh, so let's get a text box. Text box. Make it as big as you want. Uh, put it somewhere like right at the end. And new button. Call this search. Alright, so now for the anchor, we gotta set this up so that way it makes sure it matches what it's uh, doing so that way when we maximize it, it doesn't throw the whole program off. So click off of that and click on that. So now it'll stay over there, and then this one you want it to enlarge itself. So just uh, have both of those sides highlighted. Alright, so now we have uh, the search bar. Double click on the search button, and you'll get the code to try to uh, make a search. And this one's kind of weird. So what I did, I already have Google up, but you can see, I'll show you something uh, that you can do with Google. It, just watch what the URL does when I type in like, hey, for the Google search. See how it says search HL and uh, Q equals hey, and uh, that stuff. So what I found out is um, when I searched on, this is for Firefox only. So this isn't uh, what we're looking for. It's kind of weird, but um, so what you have to remove is the, the HL equals N. What? Oh, HL equals N. So yeah, this stuff deleted. So the search question mark Q equals Hey. So uh, now if you see this, that's what I entered. Now let's go back to the web browser. WB dot navigate to oh, this is gonna be kind of weird. Um, first quote google.com forward slash search question mark Q and then let's go back to this and also an equal equal then end the quotes I put an and sign which is uh, seven uh, capitalized and text box two since there's a te second text box dot text what? I thought it was the third one no that was our second text box oh see there's only two text boxes oh, I thought it was the text box no, that's a web browser. Oh. And um, then we have to put B T N G. Hold on, I gotta remember what fresh memory. B N G equals Google plus search. Equals Google. All right. I know this is pretty confusing. I didn't just do plus instead of the and. Oh, it is plus. I don't think you have to add that. I'm going to remove that for now and see what happens. So then end the parentheses or whatever. So that uh, this is what our search is. Let's test it out. I'm going to have computer loading. So, hey, search. There we go. Let's search Google for hey. So you search question mark Q equals hey. And that's how you make a search for Google on the web browser. And you can also add that e dot key code thing for this one, except add it for text box two dot underscore key down event and have WB navigate uh, to the, this same code. Okay, so now just, let's just add one more thing. Actually, no, we're running out of time. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you continue watching this series on Microsoft Visual Basic, and I hope Big Sway Rick stays with me to ask questions. So see you next time. Yeah.